Hello YouTube, how's everyone doing? It's Professional here. Welcome back to my next part of Max Payne. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, please do drop a like. Let's continue for a Cold day in hell. Even with all this firepower, I figured I couldn't get to Punchinello at his manor. I could only hope that he wouldn't pass a chance to hear me beg to see he's won. This is Max Payne. I want to cut a deal. Payne, you're a dead man. That's what everybody keeps telling me. I got your ship and her cargo. I want to meet. No pain, no gain. Capiche? You know my restaurant? Yeah, I know it. One hour. Quincinello's restaurant had seen better days. Snow was falling like ashes from post-apocalyptic skies, but that was outside. Things would soon get hot in the Don's restaurant. So the reason that Mafia is like, um, you know, use places like restaurants, it's mainly a front. That's what it's ultimately about. A um, way to hide their cash. Whoa. What the hell? Okay. What on earth is going on over here? Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Is he seriously blowing up his whole restaurant just to kill Max Payne? Oh my god, what... What on earth is this level? Okay, uh... Crap. Okay, not that. You gotta be kidding me, it's still going? Great, wonderful. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, 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 no! Oh. Oh my god, it's just that's. When Janela was burning to get me, the feeling was mutual. He was trying Honestly, to put out my flames with gasoline. Not, I get my hands on Don Punch Punchinello for that. For that mission. Oh my god, that was, that was ridiculous. Yeah, might want to call the health inspector here as well as the fire the department. mobsters have been guarding a real treasure. The way out of this disco inferno. Oh my god, I'm, I'm not having good luck with this mission. Out of this disco inferno. Okay, yeah, this, um, honestly, when I get my hands on Don Punchinello. Well, this M4 is a great gun. This is the best gun in the game so far. This gun's really good. Oh, crap. Damn, he still managed to hit me. Last magazine. Gotta make it count. Vlad had seen my smoke signals. The Mercedes was revving to go, almost drowning out the banshee well of the sirens. You coming? We'll drop you off at the Punchinello Manor. Sounds good to me. When this is over, look me up. I could use a professional like you. I'll keep that in mind. I'm the professional here.
I still don't trust Vlad. The night groaned with cold. The garden lights flickered nervously. In their light, the falling snow was dead white before the darkness ate it up. I had heard the stories. The trio were mad dogs. They'd have hung the heads of their enemies over the manor gates if the capo had only let them. When Janela wanted pain, he'd see the pain. The trick in my situation was that there was no trick, no matter what the movies tell you. No rules, no secret mantra, no roadmap. It wasn't about how smart or how good you were. It was chaos and luck, and anyone who thought different was a fool. All you could do was to hang on madly, as long and as hard as you could. Who is, um, uh, where is graciously this? graciously left the back door open for me and killed the guards. My money was on Mona. I knew the trio would be standing between me and Punchinello. I had read their rap sheets, thick as phone books. No one would be walking out of here alive. The numbing cold of the broken night had followed me in. Upstairs, the trio tangoed down the manor halls to the silent rhythm of their murderous hearts. The blood of their victims rust on their lips. Vince Mignano, Pilot Providence, a.k.a. Big Brother, and Joe Deadpan Salem. The pistol was a frozen lump in my hand, piercing the skin, gnawing me to the bone. So this is Don Punchinello's manor. I wonder where this is exactly, because you don't see a mansion like this in, um, in uh, death, you know, the thug had been promoted Manhattan. to messenger. Someone hadn't enjoyed the Don's hospitality. Someone with a flair for the dramatic. Someone who had let herself out of a locked cell and passed a couple of armed guards. My thoughts were on Mona again. I could only hope she was a good enough gambler to walk away while she was still winning, before she'd run into the trio. Yeah, uh... Uh, I'm wondering where this mansion is exactly, because this wouldn't be in Manhattan. This would probably be in Brooklyn or Queens, maybe even Staten Island. Oh, great. Lost a good chunk of my health already again. Perfect place to get ambushed. Whoa. Oh, this is wonderful, right? All gonna use up all these grenades that I collected. Okay, yes, more um, painkillers, good. Thirteen bullets left in this M4. It didn't take me long to run into the trio. Lisa Punchinello was that she was a bit of a witch. The tarot cards on the kitchen table fit the picture. They weren't my kind of cards, but I was willing to take a crack at the hand Mrs. Punchinello had dealt. The first card was the tower. Maybe that was supposed to be the manor. It got easy after that. The devil was the master of the house, and death was me coming for him. Okay. Great, yep. Yeah, this Oh, 
Oh, I thought I died for a second there. That was just okay. One down, two to go. Oh, what? Okay, so that's one of the hitmen that I killed there. That are the three, the Don's hitmen. Okay. Seriously trying to hide in a plant? Yeah, I figured you could do that. You could do that in Max Payne 3. That's the Max Payne theme song. I'm scared to open this door. Oh, great. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, I'm having not good luck in this mission right now. Alright, charging in. Okay, who got him? Probably one of the hitmen again. He's not dying. Two down, one to go. Okay, yeah, that's definitely one of the hitmen there. Don't stop at him! This will stop anything. Take cover. Whoa, okay, uh. Damn, I lost a good chunk of my health, too. What? How are you supposed to get past that part? Great, it didn't stop him. Uh, okay, here we go. I'm gonna dive. I'm still alive? Okay. Okay, I don't know how I'm still alive. I have no idea right now. Max. I couldn't tell whether it was Mona or her sister. The body was a mess. The sick bastard had really gotten a kick out of it. Seeing her lying there got me thinking about another woman's body on another bed. Got me thinking about a fallen cradle.
Vince Mugnano. Okay, this is the final hit, man. Punchinello's trio was done for. Outside my door. Hurry. He's coming for me. You gotta hurry. Please. I could hear Punchinello. Oh, I can't wait for this. I get my hands on him. He should have been saying his goodbyes. Punchinello was a pushover. The moment I stepped into the room, he folded like a deuce before a royal flush. No, wait. I was just doing what I was told. I couldn't refuse. She's someone high up. Government, maybe. I don't know. He was trying to buy more sand for his hourglass. I wasn't selling any. What the hell? No, I told him not to. Crap. So it was the government? I was right, it was... It was government agents? Drop it! Oh. Don't move! Game over, Max Payne. Who the hell are you people? I could tell when I was outgunned. It was time to take another beating. The mystery witch was a real government? barracuda. Trouble was it CIA or deals, something? A smoking assault rifle in her hand and an army of killer suits behind her. How sweet. I get to kill two birds with one stone. Sooner or later, it was going to catch up with you. Mr. Payne, it's time to show you the benefits of my brew. Be a good boy now. You'd find that Lady Luck was really a hooker. Ah! You were fresh out of cash. <laughs> okay, so I guess we'll wrap it up here, guys. I don't know what the hell is going on. Um, you know, some government agents or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is turning into a giant conspiracy. So it looks like I was right. I was saying that it was the government that did this probably. That was behind all this. So we'll, I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, everyone. Have a wonderful day, guys.